the value of human life. This is a unit overview introduction video. Every unit you'll watch a five to seven minute video that gives you an overview of what this unit is going to be about. It's going to list the big questions, the learning targets, our grammar focuses, and how we're going to get there to achieve the learning targets. It's also going to give you what we'll be reading and it's going to give you some VIPL, very important lingo. So let's get started. So in this unit we are discussing the value of the human life. Can one place a value on life itself? Can we give a dollar amount to a life? Is one life more valued than another? Can we place a value above another? Can I sacrifice one's life to save somebody else's life? Is that okay? What is the meaning of life? That's the obvious question we're gonna have to ask. Then we have to ask, what is the meaning of our life? Meaning, what is our why? What is our purpose? How are we gonna get there? What does it look like when we get there? And then lastly, when does life stop? Does life extend past death? We have to ask this question in literature because literally, in literature, if you write something of substance, you could be immortal. You could live forever. Some learning targets we're gonna focus on this unit. We're going to focus on making good inferences. An inference is prior knowledge plus information you glean or gather from the text. It's those little clues you find in between the lines. We're going to learn how to understand dramatic structure in all forms of text. Fiction, nonfiction, poetry, news articles, television shows, movies. We're going to do the whole gambit. Analyzing narrative elements. That's theme, tone, setting, and conflict. These are the essential building blocks of a great story. Finding relevant textual evidence. No more can you just answer a question. Now I'm going to ask you to prove it, meaning you have to find the sufficient and relevant textual evidence to support that. And we're going to learn how to do that this year. Beginning the writing process, we're going to start by writing something personal. And then lastly, we're going to uh, begin to build our theme and central idea database. And we're going to learn how to, regardless of what we're reading, we're going to be able to get and gather the theme or the message or lesson or the point the author wanted us to get from reading. Every unit you'll have five to six, maybe eight grammar focuses. This unit we're focusing on nouns, capitalization, subject and predicates, conjunctions, commas, and verbs. So, how are we going to get there. First thing we're going to do is we're going to review the dramatic structure, which is plot. <laughs> Exposition, rising action, the climax, falling action, and the resolution. We're going to study, study and master inferences because we're going to start at the bottom, work our way to the top. We're going to give and gain a theme central database. We're going to be reading short stories, movies, and news articles, and we're going to realize that themes are archetype in nature, meaning they're repetitive. So we're going to look at a song, a short story, or a poem that all have the same theme of valuing human life. We're going to see how the authors utilize their words to develop that theme. And lastly, as we're reading and discussing it and answering these big questions, we're going to see how everyone else feels through what we call a Padea Seminar. So, what will we use to reach the learning targets? Well, we're going to re um, use 13 Reasons Why, a great text. We're going to read the short story by Edgar Allan Poe called The Cask of Amontillado. Very suspenseful. We're really going to use our inference skills here. Another place we're going to use inference skills is conversation piece. Now, songs, current events, and poetry are going to be using the focus on theme and tone. We're literally going to be looking at songs that talk about life, and we're going to see how they develop that theme. We're going to read a great story to talk about plot called The Interlopers. Another one called Hills Like White Elephants and The Lottery and the Lady of the Tiger. We're also going to be watching some current news events articles and we're also going to be watching the um, documentary called Bully. All these are going to be um, tools we're going to use to not only reach the learning targets, but also answer the big questions, what is the value of the human life? So some VIP lingo, 
well. VIP stands for very important. Inference. And inference, as I already stated, is your assumption you make based on your prior knowledge and the information you gather from the text. It's reading between the lines. Detectives do it every single day. Dramatic structure. Characters self-explanatory. We don't need to go over that. Dramatic structure. That is the stages of plot. You may have heard it called the roller coaster or climbing the, climbing the mountain, going down the mountain. Story building devices, theme, character, setting, conflict. You should all know what those mean, but just in case you don't, we're going to review them again. Tone. That is the, um, the feeling, the author gets from writing the subject. Mood is the feeling the author invokes in us. Connotation is that feeling or connection that you feel with a word or a symbol. For example, if I was to tell you to say the word home, what feeling or connection do you get with that? You may say peace. You may say responsibility. But if I was to ask you what is the definition of home, you would say a place where one lives. See the difference? You have more of a connotation connection to words than you do a literal definition relationship to it. Personal narrative and biography. Per personal narrative, easy. It's literally a narrative that's personal. You're going to be writing one, and then your biography, you're actually going to write your obituary. And in your obituary, you're going to write about how you value your life and how you value human lives around you. This is going to be a great unit. I'm excited. I can't wait to get started. So let's roll. And remember, there's greatness in you. How are you going to be great today?